In this lesson, we're going to be talking about a line of best fit. A line of best fit, or also known as a trend line, is a straight line that best represents the data on a scatter plot. Sometimes called a regression line, this line may pass through some of the points, none of the points, or all of the points that you see. We're going to be using the graphing calculator today to determine the line of best fit in equation form. So grab your calculator and go ahead and clear it. We're going to be following these instructions that you see here in your notes. I'm going to be walking you through this, um, but if you ever need to refer back to the steps on how to determine the line of best fit, feel free to look here. Let's look at this first problem here. The table shows the cost of a 12-inch pizza for different numbers of toppings. So you can see here in our table, um, in the picture here, it says the number of toppings, and then they give us 0 through 4. And then the cost of the pizza, you can see, is different, and it increases as you add more toppings. So what we want to do um, is just kind of picture what this looks like. And we can picture this visually just in our minds, or we can come up with it on our graphing calculator. Let's go ahead and do that. To enter data into the calculator, I have to go to STAT. Once you get to STAT, go ahead and press number 1, EDIT. This should bring up a screen that has three columns, L1, L2, and L3. We are always going to place our information into L1 and L2. Let's go ahead and place the number of toppings into the L1 column. I'm going to do that by pressing 0, Enter, 1, Enter, 2, Enter, and so forth, all the way till the end. Then I'm going to enter my cost of pizza, so I'm going to use the right arrow key to jump over to L2. Let's go ahead and place 15.50, or $15.50, into L2. When you're done placing the number, press Enter and continue down the line. Once you get to the bottom, you can see that the, 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 the last two things in the data in L1 and L2 is 4 and $22.90. Those two numbers should line up together. If they don't, there's going to be an error message whenever we calculate the equation. Now that your data is in um, the table, let's go ahead and see what the data looks like. What we're generating here is a scatter plot. So in order to get a scatter plot, we're going to press the buttons second, y equals. A screen pops up that says stat plots. We're going to choose option one. So go ahead and press enter. A second screen pops up where you see plot one, plot two, plot three. By default, we are using plot 1. Below plot 1, it says on and off. Right now, your calculator should be highlighted on off, but blinking on on. Go ahead and press enter so that you can see that the blinking highlight is on on. You are all set to view your data. Go ahead and press graph. Now, you may not see anything right now. But let's go ahead and zoom in to the information. We're going to press zoom 9. When you press zoom 9, that's going to fit the screen to your given data. You can see that we have several dots here, um, each dot um, representing a number of toppings and its cost. You can also see that it's creating a line. That's why we call it a line of best fit. Now, let's go ahead and figure out the equation of the line. To retrieve the line of best fit, or the equation of the line of best fit, we're going, now that our data is in our table, we're going to press STAT. And instead of going to EDIT, we're going to go over to the right to CALC. We're then going to choose option 4, LIN REG AX plus B. Now go ahead and press enter a couple of times. You'll see that it's going to calculate an equation in the form y equals ax plus b. Obviously, that's the same thing as y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to go ahead and write the equation of the trend line. y equals 
1.85x plus 15.5. This is the equation of my trend line. Now, to determine the cost of 12 pizzas, what I would do is I would substitute 12 into my x value. So let's go ahead and do that. y equals 1.85 times 12 plus 15.5. This is math that's done right in the calculator. So go ahead and, and um, calculate that. I get 37.7. And the question is, what is the cost? So this is going to be $37.70 for 12 pizzas. Now, the point of this is, you can see in our table, our table of values only goes up to four. But we know that if this trend continues, there will be a time when you could put 12 toppings, technically. So if that were the case, we would want to know how much that pizza would cost. Now, let's go back to your calculator for a moment. Let's go ahead and actually graph the trend line. So go back to your graph, and here's what we're going to do. You've already calculated the line, meaning you pressed stat, calc, four, and then you pressed enter, and you calculated it. Once you calculate it, go to y equals, and you're going to press the vars button. The vars button is to the left of the clear button. Choose the option number five, statistics. Move to the right two times to EQ. And choose option one, reg equation. Press enter. You'll notice that it's going to take your regression equation or your line of best fit equation. It's going to place it in your Y equals. Now go ahead and press graph you should see the graph of the actual trend line that you've just calculated. Let's go ahead and try another one of these. Before you do anything, go ahead and clear your calculator. It's very important because many of the things in your calculator are unseen on your home screen. Okay, Google sends a survey to their employees each week to gather information about pros and cons regarding their work environment. The table shows the number of complaints they received at the end of six weeks. Determine the equation of the line of best fit and how many complaints should the company expect at the end of week eight. Okay, here's our data. Let's go ahead and put our data into our calculator. In order to do that, let's press stat, number one, edit, and let's go ahead and put our data in. One, two, three, all the way up to six. Hop over to L2 and go ahead and put your number of complaints in. After I've placed my data in my stat, um, I, I really like to look over and just to make sure I didn't make any errors in any of the numbers. Because if one number is, um, is different, it's going to cause an effect on your equation. So you want to be sure that those numbers are accurate. Okay, now that they're in there, let's go ahead and calculate the, well, actually, let's go see, let's go see it and see what it looks like. I like to do that first. So let's go ahead and press second y equals, turn your plot one on, and go ahead and graph it. Again, you may not be able to see it in your graphing calculator, so in order to do that, press zoom nine. You can see that this, um, it looks like a line, so it is linear, but it's um, declining um, as X increases, Y is decreasing. So um, let's go ahead and now calculate the line of best fit that's going to fit this data the best. So I'm going to press stat, I'm gonna go over to calc, and I'm gonna choose option four, Linreg equation, and press enter, enter, enter a bunch of times. So the equation that comes up is going to be Y equals negative 19.06, I personally like to round all my numbers to the hundreds place, x plus 243.87. That is my line of best fit equation. Now, 
it says, how many complaints should the company expect at the end of week eight? So you can see that that line is declining as time goes on. So um, week eight is going to be way down here. So we're wondering how many complaints are going to happen on week eight. So I'm sure um, it looks like it's going to probably be a lower number than 130 for sure if that trend continues. Let's go ahead and calculate it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, place um, an 8 into my x value. And then I'm just going to go ahead and churn out the numbers. So go ahead and use your calculator for this. And it looks like I got about, um, about 91 um, complaints. Now, if you want to, you can go back and actually see the line going through the points. I'll go over that again with you. So, again, it's very important that you actually calculate the line first before you do the VARs. So, make sure you went to STAT, CALC, 4, enter, enter, enter. Make sure you grab that equation. Now, go to Y equals, VARs, option 5, statistics, EQ, and the number 1 reg equations. Go ahead and press graph, and you should see the line graphing through the points. And that is how you create a line of best fit and a line of best fit equation um, and predict future events using the trend of the data.